All right there, I'm Neil. Um, today I thought I'd do a little video showing behind the scenes of one of my uh, more guitar oriented tracks. This is a song called uh, Territoriality from an EP I did back in 2019 called Off The Estate. The song's in 3-4 time but otherwise it's basically just standard kind of rock thing. It's quite noisy and discordant I suppose, all the guitars and that, but uh, that's thematically appropriate show us here because the song itself is about kind of a low level endemic violence of growing up on the council estate in Sunderland in the 80s and 90s. So anyway, let's have a look at the tracks. There's 11 tracks in all. There's drums, bass, one acoustic guitar track, five electric guitar tracks and three vocal tracks. Although some of these tracks do have kind of multiple columns or sub tracks. So I guess they could be thought of as um, buses, I guess. Now let's start with the vocals. Um, I'm not a good singer. I've got a very limited range and I can't project my voice at all or even sustain a note really for that matter without my vocal cords just cracking and giving out altogether. So you know like 99% of people I'm just not very keen on my own voice. Send markings on the walls, listen out for alarming calls. Usually I get around this by adding distortion to it as I did with uh, I guess the chorus track on this, on the territoriality bit anyway. That sometimes helps make it a bit more bearable. However, for this track, or this song I should say, mostly what I've done is I've doubled the vocals just by layering two different takes together. And that kind of makes it a bit more bearable, you know. Send markings on the walls, listen out for alarming calls, watch out for danger signs, the natives are easily riled. Uh, I've heard that John Lennon did this for the same reason, because he didn't like his voice either. Not that I'm comparing myself to John Lennon, obviously, but uh, obviously there's something in this that helps, you know. Uh, there was a lot of funny and about trying to come up with a melody line for the vocals that I was happy with and I couldn't really settle on anything and so in the end I just basically took two different ideas and laid them together and used that because it produces this weird harmonic that I actually quite like. So that's basically what we've got here. Send markings on the walls, listen out for alarming calls, watch out for danger signs, the natives are easily riled. Send markings on the walls, listen out for alarming calls, watch out for danger signs, the natives are easily riled. One street to the next, you truly hostile sets. How oh, man, we're just passing through, but I guess you've got no else to do. Now onto the drums. Uh, this was before I got me tabletop electronic drum kit type thing, and uh, I think the beat was probably laid down just by tapping on the pads of the MIDI controller. Or it could just have been programmed to be honest, I'm not quite sure, can't remember. At any rate, I was using a VSTI called MT Power Kit 2, I think it is. Um, it's a nice little plug-in, um, it's kind of stripped down, minimalist, there's only one kit, but it sounds good. Uh, the beat itself is pretty, it's a simple loop, you know, but a nice little switch around on the rhythm, which I like, and which helps a lot with the, the dynamics of the track, I think. The bass is super simple, it's just an 8 bar loop, um, it was recorded through a Line 6 guitar port along with all of the electric guitars. There's five uh, electric guitar tracks using four different guitar port settings. Um, you may notice that I'm not a good guitarist either. In fact, I'd hesitate to even call myself a guitarist, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I'm a total noob with it, even though I've had a guitar for 
nearly 14 years now, basically for two reasons. One is I never practice. Like the only time I ever pick up a guitar is when I'm intending to record something with it. It maybe happens about once a year that I'll pick up a guitar just to noodle around with it and then I get bored within about 10 minutes. But uh, the other problem I think is that, yeah, this is where Cross had a quite a bad influence on us to be honest. <laughs> Because I read somewhere that uh, Andy Palmer, the guitarist from Cross, um, the entire time he was in the band, he apparently never learned a single chord. And to be honest, neither of our in 14 years. <laughs> Although, actually, to be fair, I did once learn an F chord, but uh, I never got around to using it and I've since forgotten how to do it. My approach is basically to try and nail one single run through of a, a part and then just loop it however many dozens of takes that requires. <laughs> timing and intonation is kind of sloppy but you know so what it's punk or not <laughs> finally there's an acoustic guitar track um, which comprises two picked parts and one strummed <laughs> Again, individually the tracks sound quite crap, but when they come together, they're not too bad. You know, it sounds quite nice, I suppose. Anyway, the full track is available at me Bandcamp page, which is uh, pigfuckingsick.bandcamp.com. Uh, there's a name that doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? Uh, the EP is called Off the Estate, as I might have mentioned earlier. Uh, go and check it out over there, or you can just keep watching this video, I suppose, because it's about to start.